Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. God bless you. Today we are in 1 Samuel in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And we are in chapter 7. And the men of Kerjath G. Arim came and fetched up the ark of the Lord and brought it into the house of Abinadab in the hill and sanctified Eleazar his son to keep the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass while the ark abode in Jerjath G. Arim that the time was long for it was twenty years. And all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do not return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods or the foreign gods and Ashtothroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Then the ch children of Israel put away Baalim and Ashtaroth, and served the Lord only. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together at, oh, excuse me, and they gathered together to Mizpah, and drew water, and poured it out before the Lord, and fasted on that day, and said here, We have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpah. And, and when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together at Mizpah, the Lord of the Philistines went up against Israel, and when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a sucking lamb and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpeth and pursued the Philistines and smote them until they came to beth -car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shin, and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Here, O two, hath the Lord helped us. So the Philistines were subdued, and they came no more into the coast of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistine all the days of Samuel. And the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel, from Ekron even unto Gath, and the coast thereof did Israel deliver out of the hand of the Philistines. And there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life, and he went from year to year in circuit to Bethel and Gilgal and Mizpah and judged Israel in all those places. And his return was to Ramah, for there was his house, and there he judged Israel, and there he built an altar unto the Lord. I tell you, when you get right with God and you call on him, he will hear your voice. And this is what happened with Israel this day. They called on the Lord God and repented of their sins, and turned from their idols. Ah, that was a good story. That was a good chapter, huh? 
Okay, guys, and as always, I love you.